What up guys, your boy Dante back with another video. Today I'm doing a review on the Crep Protect. Actually that doing a review on the Crep Protect Cure Tip. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna see did you see all the videos on YouTube about the Crep Protect? It's you know like they take mud, they take anything that could stain a shoe, they dump it in there, they leave it for a day and they come back and clean it. And I just wanted to see if all the hype was, if that was just, you know, if, what was all the hype about. So I got this from my local champs. It was $18, which is not bad. And you get 10, what, 10 milliliter bottle right there. You get their premium brush. Now all right there. You get a microfiber cloth. And you get the directions and this cool case I like. So I did already use this. It did work pretty well. Um, I kind of messed up. The first time I used cold water, it says use warm water. So what I'm going to do is I got my towel. I got my water right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two. And it says put some on the brush like that. This is dipping in the water. Oh, it's still too small. You fucking shit me. Hold on. I gotta. I need to find like a bigger one. But just dip in the water. And I used this on three shoes already. I used it on my Roshi runs, my Pumas, and my KD7 All Stars. Um. So here's my Roshi runs. Let me just move that. Let me shoot back. There's my Roshi ones right there. These are the ones I cleaned. I wore these to work Saturday, so they got dirty again. And here's the ones I didn't clean. You can see there's kind of a kind of a difference. This one's a little bit whiter on the toe box. So I'm gonna clean both of these, see how they both come out. And then I'm gonna be cleaning these D Rose 6 boost. They're my brothers. I'm not gonna unlace them. Uh, but when you do clean your shoes, make sure you remove the laces. Um, you can just put them in the solution. That's what I like to do. And it literally gets the stains and laces off. So let's do that. Just dip around there for a little bit. I'm just going to do a circular motion because I might put more in there. And for 18 bucks, it's not bad for what you're getting. Oh shit, it's dripping over. Fuck. There you go. So. Circle in the whole thing. Did you see it gets all foamy and everything? You can already see it. You take your microfiber cloth and clean it off. You can already see the midsole is kind of looking a little bit whiter. So I'm gonna stop this and clean it and show you guys after. Boom, what up, bitch? Uh, it's Dante, I'm back. Um, I'm back for my opinion on the Crep Protect. So I washed both of my Roshan runs. Uh, I did show you how dirty they were in the beginning. There's still dirt in them. But I'm not gonna discredit Crep Protect. It's still, it's still wet, so it might just be they might look dark because they're still wet. But I'll give you an up close of them, and I did put the laces in. But my honest opinion on the Crep Protect, it works really good for like if you step in mud the previous day and you wash it the next day, then it works really good. But if you wash shoes like I did. This is probably like a year worth of dirt, maybe a couple months years of dirt. <laughs> Not a couple years, a couple months worth of dirt was stuck inside this mesh. So of course, it's not gonna get it all out. I did the bottoms of it. You can see it kind of cleaned some of the bottom, but again, this is like months of dirt. Water's got in here, mud. So. This would need like a whole, you know, wash through, run it through the washer with it. I guess you could go buy the rejuvenator and buy their new laundry detergent, which does that. Like you can put in the washer and everything, and it'll like clean it all the way through. 
I'm gonna give you guys a close up of this and show you what it looks like with the flash on because you guys probably can't see how they look. So, so as you can see right there, they look a little bit whiter. Um, this one I've did previously, so the toe box is gonna look definitely more white than that one. The laces look <laughs> really white. Hold on, I think I hear something. What is that sound? I don't know. But the laces look really white on this. Like laces were dirty as fuck. So, and you can still see there's some yellowing right there. Um, I couldn't get that yellowing out. But that's the one shoe. And there's the other one. This one's still kind of dark, but you can see it's kind of white on top still. So I'm going to take a blow dryer to this. Light, don't go high or you're going to melt the glue off the shoe. And I'm just going to blow dry this one. Blow dry these till they're dry. And I'll show you, if, see if they get any whiter when they're not wet. And I'm going to also put in pictures of the D-Row 6 boost I washed. And I'll show you the before and after. So I just took the dryer to it. Um, it does not appear to look any whiter when it's drier. It still might not be fully dry, but, uh, I just think this one, the Crep Protect probably could get out all these dark stains if you did run it through like a third, maybe a second time. Like if you did the whole thing again. But I really don't have time for that. Uh, I might do it when I get to my girlfriend's house. Uh, but... Yeah, um, would I pay another $18 for that bottle? And I don't even know if the crap protects ch the chance by my house just sells the bottle or if they sell the whole kit over again. But would I pay another $18 for it? Probably because it is a good product. It worked great on the first ones. As you can see, it's more white on the top. It's kind of whiter here, but you can still see it's still a lot dirty i'm not saying like you can just go out these and rock them like a new pair of shoes but they were better than they were when you guys first seen them but would do uh does it work better than a toothbrush and like soap and laundry detergent definitely cough up that extra 18 bucks maybe or maybe cough up another another 10 and probably try to get the rejuvenator but I do like the Cure. I'm definitely going to use it for any new shoes I get or any shoes I really want to, you know, keep for the long run. Like, these would be a pair I really want to keep for a long run. <laughs> long run. I get a lot of compliments on these. If you guys don't know, these were in a movie. I think it's called, like, The Do-Over or something like that. It's on Netflix. And a lot of people always ask me if I've seen the movie. And I get a lot of compliments on these. And hopefully... If I do run these through like three, four times, maybe one more time, the white, some of this dirt will come off and they'll look white again because I really do like these shoes. But my honest opinion, I would cough up another $18 to get the whole kit again because you could always use an extra microfiber cloth or an extra brush. You could always use the old brush you have for just another pair of shoes. Like like if you just don't want to use your, uh, your, uh, the whatever it's called like the crep solution the liquid for that you just want to take a soap soap and water and you can use their second brush from the crep kit that you already bought and just use it on the other shoe because it's a very nice brush it's like hog hair or some shit like that but it's very nice so if you guys sorry people love to call me their own fucking recording just love to call me but in my opinion cough up the extra $18 to get the crep protect I think it's a good product. I am not sponsored by this. I think it's a really good product, so cup of action, extra $18. That's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't, like, I mean, like the video, subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell in my uh, channel so you know every time I post a new video. My view has been a pr little low, so let's get that going again. Thank you for all the love and support, and I'm out.